Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene, the people that make it, and the whiskey that makes it sound better. I'm Josh, and today I'm reviewing the 43% alcohol by volume Hochstatter's Slow and Low Rock and Rye Whiskey, which, aside from the usual bottled option, also comes in a can. With taglines like, more than a bottled cocktail, and it is a state of being, a lifestyle, rebellious and free-spirited, I wasn't sure what to expect from this whiskey. I was introduced to this while at Hal Savar's birthday show inside the Sterling Club in Las Vegas. If you're interested in that, there should be a card up in the top right corner to click on once you're finished here. Now then, let the review begin! Hopefully, Hal's not the only one that got a gift that day. The term rock and rye actually comes from the tradition of saloon bartenders cutting unaged whiskey with rock candy syrup. Hailed as a cure-all and sold in pharmacies during its heyday, rock and rye was reintroduced by Rob Cooper, who incidentally also created Saint Germain, my wife's favorite liquor. On the nose, the expected rye was actually in the background peeking out behind very forward orange and honey notes. If you've seen some of my previous whiskey reviews on this channel, particularly with my friend Sean Flume, then you'll know how poorly flavored whiskeys have treated us. Needless to say, hopes were not high upon my first smelling of this one. On the tongue, I was pleasantly surprised to find a gentle tingle with a strong bitter orange and honey expression, and the rye again taking a backseat to everything else. The finish was nice and lingering, like a well-made cocktail. Overall, Hochstatter's Slow and Low Rock and Rye Whiskey is best approached as a cocktail rather than a straight whiskey. With that in mind, I think you'll enjoy it like I did. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you'll let me know whether you enjoyed Hochstatter's Slow and Low Rock and Rye Whiskey in the comments. Uh, if you have any other suggestions, things I should try, by all means, drop them in there as well. Other than that, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click up there in the corner. And if you'd like to subscribe, it really would mean the world to me and I'd appreciate you. Please click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. Uh, remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.